What's up, everyone? Check out the Comic Outlaw on YouTube. Drop us a like, subscribe, you know, or just hit us up for whatever. And right now, we're in issue four. Kitten Pride and Wolverine. Basically, this is this whole story now. Shadowcat got her name. And we're rolling on within this. I wish I could get this as a poster. I love this cover so much. I just want to throw that out there. Very cool. Now, um, we're just coming into it. Shadowcat was taken over by a demon. And uh, she stabbed Wolverine all the way through with a sword. A lot of parts came out. <laughs> uh, Wolverine's in bad shape. And uh, they're driving right now to go get him healed. Trying to take him to a safe spot. Now there's Utica. She's kind of like Wolverine's other woman. I like calling her the Tigress, you know, because uh, that's the way they described her when they first met her. And, uh, yeah, that's a kid in Pride's father, the idiot, that kind of got everyone involved in this. And Pride's kind of going through trauma. And, uh, you know, the Tigress there is, uh, needs someone to vent her frustrations on. So she's thinking about throwing Kitty's father over the cliff. And I really don't blame her at this point, but Kitty freaks out and she takes off. Now, Kitty's going through a lot of trauma. For that whole week, she was taken over. Her will was subjugated. She was forced to attack and almost kill her mentor. So she, she's going through a lot of bad stuff right now. I mean, she was completely brainwashed. Her will was destroyed. And she basically became an assassin. Murdering and killing everything at will. Now, uh, they get into a fight. and Although Kitten skilled, she was trained. Uh, the Tigress is so much better. And uh, she has a little throwing dagger. She ends up hitting her and knocking the sword out. And kind of gets the upper hand through some uh, ninja trickery. And the fight continues on. And as skilled as Kitty is, this chick just outclasses her and knocks her out. Now they wake up and Wolverine's other <laughs> mistress's house clan, Yoshida, from Woody lives i cannot say that i'm sorry for saying that I'm trying to say that but anyways they explain how the demon took over shadow cat and she's having nightmares right now because the demon's influence hasn't escaped her all the way it's still reaching out to her and at this point wolverine is healing but uh he's badly hurt he's wrapped up he's carrying a cane and uh this girl's realizing Basically just coming to grips with everything that she's done and who she's been for that past week. And I love how this is experience right here. Logan's been through so much and Kitten's just finding out how cruel the world is. How, how it is to do bad things, to feel guilty for it. And Logan has been through so much, he's accepting her for who she is and what she's done. You know that she was basically forced into it. And she's trying to give her a path. And he tells her a story of these two samurais crossing a bridge. Neither of them were moved for the other. So they drew their swords ready to fight. Ready to see who the best warrior is since neither would stand aside. But in that moment they looked into each other's eyes and realized they were equals. And they both bowed in respect and left. And came back to the bridge at another time. Now this story has a. Comes into play a little later. Now Logan's taken to her Zen garden. And she's basically having to work on it. So she can work on her own issues. Have time to think. Work things out. And he's kind of having a discussion with the tiger. He's kind of figuring out. What they're really going to do about Kitty. Can they really help her? Can they really pull her out of this? From the demon's influence. And this is where um, Logan kind of explains that he knows who the demon is. A long time ago, the demon was a sensei. You see, this guy has been alive for a very long time. And he is trying to save Kitty from his influence, but he has to teach her. He gave her a moment of Zen, and now he's teaching her how to fight, how to be tough, how to hold that sword. And holding the sword is very important holding it up until it's an extension of you, an extension of your will. And Kitty's having a real hard time doing this. And this is where Logan has to be cruel to be kind. He pushed her off a waterfall and has her swim. He jumps in after her, of course, but Logan's kind of teaching her how to survive. 
And sometimes when you're learning how to survive or when you're teaching someone how to survive that's never really had to, you have to be mean with them. You have to push them. And it might seem cruel. But sometimes that saying really does have rele relevance. I must be cruel only to be kind. And with a harsh hand, Logan is really teaching her the ways of the samurai. Now Logan's come to a crossroads because he's needed back at home with Storm and Alpha Flight through the situation going. And he has to choose. And sometimes in life, all you have is bad choices, but you still have to make one. He can either go home now or help Kitty. So he decides to help her in the best way he can. She begins to complain, lose focus. She falls behind. And Logan leaves her. He leaves her in the snow to walk back, to get up by herself, find the will to fight. But that's what it comes down to, heart and will. Do you have the will to get back up? Do you have the will to find yourself again and not be controlled? Or are you going to be left behind to freeze in your own fear? Now, of course, Logan makes it back, and Kitty's father is yelling at him, which, you know, they, they quickly tell him to shut up. And Kid, Kitty is right behind him. She found the will to get up and move forward. And at this point, Kitty's relaxing. You know, she's had a long day. And this is where she realizes that she can't do this for him or for her father. She has to do this for herself. And this is where she sits there and meditates with the sword. And she gets it. She stands there with it. She holds it. She holds it all day. And when Logan's asleep, she pulls it. Says that she won. She found herself. But she also tells him goodbye because she's made her decision. She's made the decision to have Charles help her. To go back home. And figure it out. And she's at the airport right now. But she comes at a crossroads and she realizes that maybe she has to do this on her own. She has to fight. She has to win back her own soul. And this is the crossroads for Kitten Pride. This is where she starts to become Shadow Cat. We'll find out what happens the next time. As always, I'll catch you on the flip side.